for all the high ideals associated with ancient Greece, it needs to be remembered that the Greek peninsula was divided into hundreds of small city-states who were often in armed conflict with each other. And warfare was often seen as the only way to solve conflict between these small nations. Now the Greek word for weapon was hoplon, so a hoplite was simply a man-at-arms, and hoplites were heavily armed infantry who often relied on the tactical use of the phalanx, which was simply a tightly packed battle formation of hoplites. And it was the duty of all male citizens of the city-state to serve in the military. When boys turned 18, they would swear to defend their tribe or city-state and begin their military training. Now a central part of military training were foot races, which often involved carrying a shield for a long distance, and armor dancing, which trained young men in the moves to avoid enemy blows. During the second year of training, the recruits would move into barracks and they would begin to take on light military duties, such as patrolling the borders of the city-state. At this time, they would also begin to learn the group tactics of fighting in the phalanx formation. And since the phalanx depended on the coordination of all of its individual members, learning to rely on and support one's fellow soldier was heavily drilled into the young recruits. And when they learned to fight in phalanx formation, the most ambitious youths were placed in the first rank. They would then choose who they wanted in the file behind them, and this would continue to the back of the line. This was done so they would literally have confidence in the man behind them. Equipping a hoplite was very expensive, and it cost about the equivalent of a month's pay for a standard artisan. And by far the most important piece of equipment was the light shield. Now these shields were usually made of wood covered with an extremely thin sheet of bronze. And while they could provide protection against a sword or spear thrust, arrows and javelins would often penetrate them. Like the shield, the hoplite helmet was designed more for light protection, and a horsehair crest would often be used to decorate it and make the hoplite appear taller and more imposing. The bronze torso armor, or cuirass, was either bronze chest and back plates, modeled after the musculature of a torso, or the composite cuirass, which was composed of metal plates covered with leather or linen. And attached to the bottom of the cuirass were groin flaps that hung down to protect the haunches. Further down, the bronze greaves would clip onto the shins. The primary weapon of the hoplite was a spear, and these were usually two to three meters long and hafted with ash wood. The spear was fitted with a butt plate, metal spearhead, and hand grip, which was usually of leather. And hoplites would also rely on a number of different swords, most of which were broad with conclave blades, kind of like a kukri or a falchion. While all trained hoplites between the ages of 20 and 60 could be called up for military service, mobilization of the entire population of male freemen was very rare. Warfare would usually start with the liberation of the citizenry, and they would call up groups by tribes or families, often creating a rotating role of mobilization and demobilization as was needed. Now, unlike modern armies, the middle-aged were not exempt from military service. They saw it as important to be a defender of their city-state and part of what ensured their freedom. When campaigning, each hoplite was accompanied by a slave or a younger relative who kind of served as a general porter, cook, and laborer. Pack animals and wagons were also used to carry heavy supplies, tools, and shelters. Hoplite battles were often fought in the late morning or early afternoon, so after eating breakfast, the hoplites would march to the battlefield and array themselves in close order, with their shields locked together and the spears of the first rows pointing forwards. And keeping such a formation from becoming quickly disordered was often very difficult. Now, while drilled mercenary troops were often able to maintain cohesion, any dip in morale could send the conscripted civilian troops scattering. In fact, in many hoplite battles, the opposing sides didn't even come in contact with each other, with one side either routing before an obviously superior foe or just refusing to advance to a fight. In a phalanx, the crucial morale was maintained in the rear of the formation, so that the men in the front were pushed forward and couldn't flee. If morale did break from the rear, the column would disintegrate from the back to the front. Now, when the lines of enemies were about 200 yards apart, they'd stop and a sacrifice would be made. This would be followed by a charge of one side or the other. And if the opposing line held, contact would be carried out as a pushing contest between the shields of both sides. Now, as opponents were pushed down, spears were thrust at throats, groins, and legs. And if any spear shafts were broken, then the swords would be drawn. This resulted in a confused melee, and it would continue until one side broke and fled. Now, in most battles, about 5% of the participants were killed, and about 15% were wounded. After the battle, the dead and wounded would be gathered up, the bodies of the enemies would be stripped of their armor and weapons, and these would be used to build a monument to the victor. As it was highly likely that wounds would become infected, a large number of wounded would die sometime after the battle. 
Now, as I hinted at before, keeping an army in the field was very expensive. Thus, decisive battles fought on plains with heavy casualties were considered a lot more economically feasible than maintaining guerrilla forces or engaging in a lengthy siege. So this game was originally published in 1971 as Phalanx Tactical Warfare 500 to 100 BC, and it was designed by John Young. In 1975, it was re-released as Spartan Tactical Warfare in the Hellenistic Age 500 to 100 BC, and finally in 1976, it became part of the pre-17th century tactical game systems, which is Prestags, which also included Chariot, Legion, Viking, and Yeoman. So the rule for elephants. Elephants are a one-and-done unit. Now in the turn after combat, they always run amok in a random direction, trampling all before them until they run off the map or they drown in a mire. So to represent this, on the beginning of an elephant rampage, you roll two dice. Now the first dice indicates the direction the elephant moves, and this always starts on the hex at the top, being one and working clockwise over the next six hexes. The second number indicates the number of movement points the elephant has that moves in that direction. And the elephant will then move until it ends up adjacent to another unit, and this unit can be enemy or friendly, at which point it will attack that unit. Now once an army panics, elephants in that army also begin to rampage. If attacked, elephants are only eliminated on a one-half elimination or full elimination result. Elephants are also eliminated if they end up in a swamp, lake, or move off the board. And elephants that are eliminated count as a combat loss to the owning player. So I've been playing this game quite a bit lately, so I think I'm going to add a few uh, rules, clarifications, changes, and reinforcements here that I feel like are making the game work a little more smoothly. First of all, talking about movement. Now I've got a house rule here that when units move, they can freely change their facing once per movement phase. Now any additional facing changes cost one movement point per hex side change, and as long as the unit has movement points, they can change facing. Now in my games, mounted units can make full movements, even if they're outside the leadership control radius of friendly leaders. I feel that mounted units are all about moving a longer distance rapidly. Per Joe on Facebook, I've added this house rule that horse archers can use the chariot phase to move and attack, though they can't fire or melee again during the same turn. Now when I play this game, I follow the wargaming standard that a unit has to attack all of the enemy units in a single attack that are adjacent to and within its front facing. Now these units cannot attack units that are adjacent to them, but are on their flanks. For cavalry charges, I use the rules from Viking that cavalry units can make charges, and heavy cavalry need three hexes in a straight line to take advantage of the charge rules, and if they're able to charge, they fight at double strength points. Now medium cavalry function much the same way, but they only need two hexes in a straight line to make an attack, and when cavalry units do this, I place a contact marker on them to indicate that the attack is a cavalry attack. Now missile units can only fire once per turn, but they can do so during the missile fire phase or the defensive fire phase. Now, as opposed to the rules as written, I say you don't have to wait a full turn to fire again. So what I basically do here is I follow the buttons on the vassal module to keep track of all this. And when a unit fires, a fire marker is placed on it. Now yellow removes all of their fire markers at the end of the yellow defensive fire phase, and red removes all of their markers at the end of the red defensive fire phase. And also this is more of a reinforcement, but missile units cannot fire and melee attack during the same turn. So you can do one or the other. Now I deal with disruption uni disrupted units in much the same way as I deal with the missile units. And basically yellow removes its disrupted units during the disruption recovery phase at the end of their turn, and red does the same during their disruption recovery phase. And this applies even to units that have been disrupted by enemy defensive fire. I do this because I find when I'm playing this game solo, it makes things a lot easier to keep track of. One little note on leadership, I follow the Command and Colors Ancients model for leadership, and if a leader is alone in a hex and an enemy unit moves into that hex, then that leader is eliminated. In regards to panic, I always check during each disruption phase. Okay, Macedonians versus the Romans. Phalanx versus Legion. Uh, we're kind of at the age of Alexander for our uh, Phalanx against a standard Roman Legion a little bit later. Generally, the this when I've played this numerous times, it's come out to be about 50-50 chance of either side winning, so it's pretty evenly matched. Uh, of course, this is hypothetical. 
Um, let's start with the Macedonians. And I'm using that special rule that the Macedonian horse archers can move during the chariot phase. Um, I don't really need to do that right now. I can wait because I really want to keep these guys kind of together. Um, we've got leader here and a leader here. So everybody's within the leadership ratio for movement. Let's start with these guys, these ballista. Um, they can move two, one, two, and actually I'm going to, I get one free rotation and then one, two, and then one free rotate. I'm not going to rotate. I'm going to go two here. I'll try to control, cover as wide an area as possible. Okay, our... Uh, I'm going to move these guys out to the wings, I think. So there's our free one. And there's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. And then these guys will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I will get my free turn there. Um, I'm going to turn these guys. I'll say they start turned. I'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see. Here we've got... Uh, let's move these guys four. One, two, three, four. That kind of blocks this guy, but that's okay. Um, hmm. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to move. This guy can move five. One, two. He makes a free one. Three, four. Okay. Five here. One, two. We turn, turn. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two. We turn one, free. Move this one, four. So we have to turn him here. Three, one, two, three. And then, oh, two guys here. Three and one, two, three. Keep them together. And then this guy here. One, two, three, four, turn five, six, seven, turn eight, nine. And then one, two, three. Oops. One, two, three, turn one, four, five. Okay. And that is the end of the red movement phase. Yellow defensive fire, nothing. Uh, red melee, nothing. Mutual disruption, nothing. We go to yellow. Yellow has nobody that's going to act as a chariot. So fire, nothing. Yellow movement. Um, okay, one, two, three, four, five, rotate, whoops, six, eight, okay, now that is a, that is a charge, whoops, and I got a little charge, I use these little charge context tokens. So we will make that to show that it's a charge. And I've decided with charges to go ahead and just double the strength. That makes it easier. I, I said in the rules plus one, but that makes it a mess when you have multiple combats. So forget that. Two, three, five. Okay. Oh, who's with the who's with leaders? Does everybody have a leader here? Two, 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 yep. And then Okay, these guys are all within the leader radius. Let's get everybody outside the leader radius. Okay, these guys can move normal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, he's going to move and attack here. 
Let's clone that contact marker. So that's going to nullify this guy. Um, one, two, one, two. Okay, that guy can go here, and then nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, I'm going to keep him out here. Okay, then one, two, three, four. Everybody else, I think, has a, is under a leadership thing. So one, two, three. Actually, I want to keep that gap closed. So I'm going to go one, two, turn one, three, four, five. Okay. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, I can't. I can turn. Whoops. I'm always getting these wrong. Okay, and there, and then one, two, three, turn one, four. One, two, oh, this is pushing me over. Could go here. Four, five. Okay, one, two, three, no, four. One, two, change one, three, four, okay. And I'm gonna rotate this guy back counterclockwise. Um, one, two, turn one, three, four. Um, one, two, three, four, and then five, that guy there, and then, um, I can turn one, one, two, three, that's not going to work. Um, let's see, one, change one, two, three. Four, five. Okay, he can turn here, and then this guy can go here. One, two, three. He has got to turn counterclockwise, and then um, I really need a That center is, I really need a uh, missile unit up in here. It's kind of hard to take these guys out. Um, okay, so we'll move those guys up here. Actually, those are barbarians. What am I saying? Hold on. They're not missile units. Um, One, we'll change direction again. Two, three, four, change direction again. Five, and we'll do the same thing here. Five, okay. There we go, I think I got everybody moved correctly. And that is the yellow movement phase, and then red can make a defensive. Now they can defensively fight here. So three, two, three, three, one to one odds with a five is a disruption. Okay, well, they did put this aside, and then we'll give these guys a disruption. Okay, so they were able to defend that ballista, which was kind of nice, but the ballista has to fire. Okay, and then we hit the red fire because they fired for the turn. Yellow combat, nobody. Mutual disruption, nobody. We go to turn two. 
Okay, we are up. Now then, I'm going to say these guys can move and fire. And what I do to make it easy is move, fire, move, which makes them kind of deadly. But that's okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's okay. Six. And we'll rotate them there. And... They're going to make a flank attack, so they're doubled. Four, eight to three. Two to one odds with a five. Two to one with a five. Uh, D, okay. Disrupted. And... Can they go? Let's see what they went. One, two, three, four, five, six. They've got three more. Um, are they out of reach of everybody? Yeah, we could try. Okay, we rotate. Whoops. Seven, eight. Nine. Let's try it. I think that's going to leave them kind of vulnerable here. Okay, that guy's moved and fired. I kind of like that, that you let those guys be a little more deadly. I think that's probably good. Oh, we forgot to do this one. Um, one, two, three, two, two. One to one, one. Nothing. Okay. There we go. Okay. These guys can fire back at a one to three odds. That's not enough. Okay, that's the end of the chariot movement. Okay, red fire combat. These guys can fire and these guys can fire. So we will mark fired. Mark fired. Uh, this guy can fire. And um, uh, let's see here. Anybody else can fire? They've got a range of one. So this guy can fire, this guy can fire. Everybody else has a range of one. Okay, we can fire. So there's a one and three is four to three. One to one odds with a six. Disrupts these guys. Here we have a one to one with a six. Okay, that's a second disruption, so that removes him. And those guys, okay, everybody's fired. Now we do our red movement. This guy can move. Um, I think everybody's within range here. Uh, let's see here. We've got an issue with these guys. Um, I think what I'm going to do is try to keep this line together somehow. Uh, Let's see. They've got a they've got a movement of um, four. One change two change three one. Three, two three. Okay, I make that when I do that when I slip it from here to here that means I've changed the directions once. So that's where it's cost two movement points. Okay. There's our free one. One, two, three. Do the same here. And then one, two, three. Okay, I, I like that. So, and then this guy, oh, he can make a charge. Let's see, he goes seven, so he can go one, two, three, 
four, five. Oh, okay. I want to end up here. Six, seven. I can't change directions. Let's go back. Let's see here. I need to end up here. One, two, make a free one. Three, four, five, six. Okay, he can do it. Okay, so he's going to come here, and this is going to be a charge. And let's put a charge contact thing there. Okay, I think this guy's fired. This guy's fired, so attack here and here. Let's start here. I've got three, six, nine, twelve. And then this guy is attacking. This is actually at a um a flank attack. So twelve. And then that's six, twelve, uh, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So that's thirty-eight and twelve is forty-eight plus two is 50 to 3. Well, it's easily going to send this guy packing, so not even going to roll. Okay, over here, we're doubling because it's a flank attack, or it's not a flank attack, it's a charge. So we're going to go 16, 32 to 2, and again, that's going to be pretty much automatic. Take our contact off, and I don't think I'm going to charge in. Okay, the phalanx has gotten, and if, I want to know how you guys say that. If you say phalanx, 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 I don't know how you ever you say that. Let me know down below, because I've never got that right, or feel like I am. I've even gone to the pronunciation things, and they've been a little crazy. Whoops, uh, fire, okay. And then red melee, we've done mutual disruption, no biggie. Yellow Chariot, nothing. Yellow Fire Combat, okay. Nobody is in range for firing. So we go to Yellow Movement. So we gotta get these guys. These guys are out of range for movement. These guys are in range and here in range, but these guys are out of range. I think what I'm going to try to do is take out this guy. He can move one, two, three, but he's not going to be facing the right direction. So we're going to have to go here. 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 And then two, one, Two. Okay, then and I hate to move forward and mess my lineup. I'm gonna move ahead one here. That guy's gonna move here. And I'm not moving, I'm not counting these just because I'm... Okay. Um, one, two, so he... Oh, yeah, that looks like a good one right there. One, two... See, I can change one. One... Two, three. This guy's going to go one, two, three here. I hope you guys aren't getting too mad for me not count, showing how I count all these out. This leaves me a little empty there. I don't like that, but I think we have something that I can go off of. Okay, two combats here. Three, six, nine. 18 to 2, 4, 6, 8. 2 to 1 odds with a 5 is going to be a uh, 
disruption. Okay. And then over here, I have 18 and 8, 26, 20, and then 6 is 32 to 8. So 4 to 1 odds with a 6. Oof. 4 to 1 with a 6 is a el half elimination? Oh, it's a full elimination. Okay. So that took out that cavalry unit. Um, okay, and then let's check our red defensive fire. I can hit this. I can hit uh, yellow melee combat done. I'm a little bit off on that, so. Okay, everybody has fired, moved, should be clear. They are, okay, move to turn three. Um, these guys can't do anything, so they're they're stuck there. Red fire combat. Uh, this guy's blocked. This guy can. So one to one, two nothing. Okay, put him mark him for fired. We go red movement. Let's start here. Uh, who's in range? This guy's in range. Okay, everybody's within leadership except for this guy, but he's a cav. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm moving him way down here, and I think what I'm going to try to do is get people from behind. Okay. Um... One, two, three. Two, three. Three. And we are just going to keep these again. Try to keep your lines together. Okay. For the time being, I think I can use this guy to kind of protect my line here. Um, I get my free, let's see, rotate. There's my free one. One, two. Okay. I'm gonna rotate this guy. There we go. That is everybody moved. Yellow defensive fire, nothing. Red melee combat, nothing. Disruption phase. There we go. Okay, we go to yellow turn. I guess I could flip that. I'm bad about that. Okie dokie. Um, yellow fire. Can we fire up anybody? I don't think yellow doesn't have anybody that has a range. Okay, yellow movement. And... Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn, okay, this guy's, everybody here is, let's see, range, these guys are, these three are out of range of uh, for movement, and then these three are, so they can move at half. So he is going to move here. Let's see, he can turn. That's, okay, then one, two. Now, I think you can move through zones of control, so three. Oh, that, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'll move here and rotate. Okay, and then here, this guy can move one, two. Those guys will stay put, and then these guys will go... I can turn it's this guy one, two, three, okay. Mm. 
Okay, we'll try to move in here. One. Okay, and then those guys here, and then this guy here. And then this guy, one, two, three, whoops, four. Okay, he can make a flank attack. And then this guy's going to go, what's he's, he's got four. One, change direction, two, three. And he is going to rotate and rotate. I think that'll be enough movement points. Okay, then these guys can go one, two, three. Uh, one, two. One, two, three. Let's, nope, we'll stay together. Okay, free one. One, two. That's all he can go. And then this guy can go three. One, two, three. We've got a slope over here that I'm a little concerned about. Okay. Um, I've got, this is going to be doubled. So we've got 6, 12, 18. 18 and 9 is 27. And 2 is, is that going to be 54? Two, two, four, six, eight. So eight times five, eight times. I'll just say seven to one with a five. Okay, that's an elimination. Man, the math in my head is just. Again, I apologize. Honestly, I've got a college education. I should be somewhat bright, but. Okay. Here, where was I? Oh, red defensive fire. I forgot the red defensive fire. Do they can they defensive fire? Yeah, they can. So this one could actually make a defensive fire. Let's get rid of those moves. Um, let's go back. Yeah. So instead of yellow melee, we're going to go back to this red defensive fire. This guy could make a defensive fire of two, four, six, eight, one to or two to one odds with a three. So this guy is is uh, disrupted. So you see what I'm I'm having to go back here. Hopefully that's making sense. I don't think there's anybody else that can use defensive fire here. So yeah. Okay. Now we go to yellow melee. So we've done that melee here. Now let's move down the line. This guy can't do anything. Um, So this to this, this to this, this to this. I've got to make sure everybody can fight against somebody. Okay. And I use the standard wargaming rules that you have to fill all the gaps. In other words, you have to fight as many units as you're adjacent to. I don't let you, I don't let these things be, um, the combats be piecemeal, if that makes sense. I hope it does. Um... Sometimes when the rules aren't written in a game, you just have to use your experience and go with that. And this game does have a little bit sparse rules at times. Considering it had three editions, they should have picked up a few things, but I still like it okay. 4, 8, 12. Um, let's see. 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 1 to 2 odds here. Uh, nothing. Okay. I'm still looking for a Holy Grail Ancients game that is really good. Um, haven't played Berg's Great Battles of History series, but I've heard they're a little bit more detailed. With their Berg, they probably would be 12 to 3, 6, 9, 12, something. It's going to be 1 to 2, doesn't matter. 5, nothing. Okay, this guy here, he's up against 8. And he's got, ah, this thing always gets in the way. We'll put it down here. Uh, four, eight, 12, 18 to eight. So two to one odds. 
Hey, you cats. Two to one, two. Sorry, the cats are going crazy here. Okay, here we've got two, four, six against uh, can't do it. The odds aren't going to work for us. So he's he's it's less than two to one, so he can't do anything there. Uh, Twelve to one to two odds, one nothing, and then finally here. Let's start here. Four, eight, twelve, twenty-four. And then this is another. Oh, that's not a flank attack. Twenty-four plus four, eight, twelve, thirty, uh, thirty-six, and three is thirty-nine. And then eighteen, forty-nine, fifty-nine, fifty-seven to seven. So easily uh, eight to one odds with a five. This guy's eliminated. And I will move in. Okay, not a good time for the uh, Macedonians. They've already lost 22, so they're getting, let's see, they got 38. This shouldn't last a lot longer. Man, I played this last night, and the game lasted almost two and a half hours. And I thought, what am I doing wrong? I'd recorded that. And then this morning I woke up and says, I don't want to show you that one. Because it was not a great game to give as an example. Okay, enough yammering here. We've got a red player turn. Oh, mutual disruption. Take off that. And then we go to... Oh, and then red fire. Got to take that off. Like I say, whoever did this vassal module, man, they made a great... They did a great job with it. They took a lot of the rules that were really kind of cumbersome and hard and fixed him in a lot of ways. I got this poor guy here and he can do his little chariot thing. So we're going to do that. Let's see. We're going to go, whoops, never can get those right. Okay. One, two, oh, this is that fire thing. Okay. One, two, Ah, let's go back. Start it over here. Okay. He's going to turn. That's free. One, two, three. Fire. Uh, let's see. It's going to be a one to three odd. Oh, he can't. Okay. I guess I will move. We'll just call this part of the regular movement. Um... Let's see if he can get into position here. Okay. Free move. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine. No, he can't. Okay. Let's see. So that's it for red fire combat. Red movement. Um, nobody's going to move. Yellow defensive fire. Nobody's. Yellow doesn't have anybody that's moving into a uh, zone of control. Red melee. Okay. Oh, we did have a red fire combat. This guy. Uh, one to one. Let's fire both of these guys at two to one right there. With a two. Two to one with a two. Nothing. Okay. Oops. Okay. And then... This could be problematic. Um, the Macedonians are in a tough spot here because basically i think what's going to happen is this legion is just going to chew them up this side to this side but we will do our best um oh fire combat um going to do this in the fire combat stage here. We're going to fire on him. 
and I don't get the um, one thing I always mess up here is I always give these guys the advantage with the leader and they don't the leader doesn't add anything to fire so I'm gonna pull him aside and actually gonna move him here just to get him out of the way I uh, will say that's part of the movement I'm kind of mess, mixing these two phases up but uh, we're gonna go two four six eight two to one on this guy two to one with a six okay that's what I wanted so we're gonna use a disruption and then that's the only missile units I can use oh these guys can missile you they can fire um, and then two to one here with a two, nothing, darn it. So we'll say they're fired and these guys fired and darn, I should have got down here and then attacked him. That's okay. Uh, we're going to go, then we've got, okay, then red movement and then yellow defensive fire, nothing. And then we go to our combat. Okay. So combat 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 4 is 19 to 12. 1 to 1 odds with a 1, nothing. Okay. Here we've got... Uh, Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, and nine is twenty-five to twelve. So two to one with a four is going to be a disrupted. Okay, then these guys get to go, and they get a six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four to eighteen. One to one with a three, nothing. Okay, then this poor guy's got a fire against everybody here. Let's see. 4, 8, 12. Uh, let's see. 4, 8, 12, 16 against a 3. And 12 is 15. So 1 to 1. He can't go against these guys because they're on a flank. So 1 to 1 with a 1 is nothing. Yeah, wasn't much there. Not good for the Macedonians. Okay. I forget whether I went to turn five or not. That's okay. Mutual disruption. We hit our dark. There we go. Yellow chariot. Nothing. Yellow fire. Um, They can't fire. Yeah, and that's where I can use... I think one thing that helps is to do this combined arms thing where you fire with one unit and then you attack with the other. Um, who else can fire? Okay, I'm going to fire with these guys. So this is two, four, six, so two to one odds with a three is a disruption, which we want. And then here, here, okay. Um, I'm gonna fire. Actually, I think I'm gonna fire here at this stack. And then I'll attack with this guy. Can it, He can melee against these two. So we're going to attack here. And against this stack. I need to bring these leaders down a little bit. Um, two to one with a one. Nothing. Okay, didn't matter. And that's the fire phase. Okay, now we move into our combat or our movement phase. Two. Um, I'm not going to chase this guy, obviously. One, two, and then one, two, three. Okay. Um, 
This guy's going to move down the line. One, two, one, two. And then, whoops. One, two, three. One, two, three. You'd think I could get this better with moving these clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay. Everybody's moved, I think, that can move. Uh, these guys have fired. Okay, now this guy is going to attack. He has to attack these two. So he's got 18 to 3, 6, 9, 12. Okay, but he does get a plus one. I always forget that you get a plus one when you attack a uh, stack of of uh, disrupted units. Now see, this is the problem is, do I count it as the plus one since he has to attack here? And like I say, I, th I think just by wargaming conventions, you should have to attack just along the whole line. I say, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt on that. So three, six, nine, 12, and then 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So he's got a one to two odds, plus one is five. Nothing, okay. It was worth a shot. If these guys would have been able to take up some of the slack off of that unit, I think he would have done a lot better. Okay, right here we have four, eight, 12, 18, 6, 8, 17, okay, 17, and can't, doesn't actually have enough points there to attack, it's okay, um, I will say this guy moves around, Uh, let's see, 4, 8, 12, and then this is a double, so 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, that's 30, 42, uh, 42, and 24 is going to be 66, to 4, 8, 12, 16, 3 to 1 odds, let's go with that, with a 1, so nothing. Okay, and that was yellow combat. We go to mutual disruption, and we can take off those disrupted units. Okay, we are back to the chariot phase. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, he's going to attack here. And we're going to resolve that immediately because that's a charge. And they're in the chariot phase. So he's got a two. And since it's a charge, it's doubled. So that's four, eight to eight to 18. Can't do it. It's not, doesn't have one to two odds. He would need a nine to do anything. Okay. Red fire. Um, we can do these guys. Um, I'm going to try to fire against those guys here. So three, six, two to one with a three disrupts him. And then this guy's a fire. This guy's a fire. Oh, I need to move forward a phase or a turn. Sorry about that. You guys keep me honest. Okay, and then we're going to do the combo fire and attack here. So we've got two, four, six, eight, two to one against these guys. Five. We will call that uh, disrupted. And then we go to movement, nothing. Yellow defensive fire. Uh, no defensive fire. And then red melee. Okay. This guy can't do anything. This guy is going to have to attack these two. Uh, six. And since I'm going to give him the plus one here. Six, twelve. 
uh, 16, 17, 18, 19 against a 3, 6, 9. So that's a 1 to 2 odds, plus 1, which is a 6, which is a disruption. Ooh, okay. So we mark these guys as... Now these guys are gone. Because two disruptions empty that out. I forgot to put this guy as fired. This guy's attacked. Okay. We'll go here against... these guys. Four, eight, 12, 16, and nine is 25. So two to one odds with a three. It's going to be a disrupted. And then we have a Twenty-four. Okay, one to one odds with a four. That's a disruption, and since there's a leader with it, we reduce the leader. Okay, that guy's attacked, and then this guy attacks at four, eight, twelve, sixteen to three, fifteen. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Okay, so one to two with a one, nothing. Okay, go to mutual disruption. Take this off. Go to yellow chariot, nothing. And yellow fire. Okay, trying to figure a fire out here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fire on these guys with a two, four, six, two to one odds with a five. Disrupts. Mark these guys as fired. Um, can't fire, can't fire. Okay, here. Gonna do the same thing here. Two to one with a three. And that's gonna get me a leader reduction. Mark these guys as fired. Anybody else can fire? Nope. Okay. Yellow movement. Gonna come up on this guy. And here, and then this guy's going to go one, two, three. This guy's going to go one, two. He can go, and then one, two. Take advantage of the now he can move through one two three. This guy's gonna move in here. This guy's gonna move rotate one two and then this guy's gonna go one two Three. He has to be turned this direction. Okay. This dude's not here. And then 22 to 14. Okay. Red defensive fire. There's no defensive fire, I don't think. Actually, I think... Oh, he already fired during the phase. Okay, so I was going to say he could have made a defensive fire, but he can't because he fired earlier back here. So we go to yellow combat. Get rid of all these moves and get rid of these fires. Um, so combat. Let's see. Let's start here with 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 to 1. So this guy's automatically eliminated. No matter what they roll at 8 to 1, it's an elimination, so. Okay, down over here, we've got a 
30 and a, uh, I don't remember whether I attacked here or not. I think I did. So I think these already fired. Um, four, eight, 12 and 30 is 42 to 16. Two to one odds with a five is a, we're going to get our disruption there. Here I've got a 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15. Don't think I'm going to be able to do anything here. Too many. Okay. Too many there. And then here I've got a 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 2. And these guys are disrupted. All of them. Fifteen to one to one odds plus one. Okay, one two nothing. Okay, that ends that. We take our disruptions off, and we go to turn six. This is going a little bit more smoothly. Okay, this guy. I think he can attack as part of, he's not going to charge. He's just going to be part of the attack. So I'll say he moves into place. Actually, he's going to go here. We're going to get rid of that guy, which he can go anywhere he wants pretty much with this movement. Okay. Fire combat. Um, I'm going to be destroyed pretty much the next turn. So we are going to make this a, we're going to fire right at this guy again with a three. One to one with a three is nothing. Okay. Any of these guys? These guys can attack here. I think I'm going to fire against this guy. So we're going to make fired against this guy here. Um, I might be able to break the line this way. Two, four, six, eight. Two to one odds with a fire with a six. Okay, that's what I want. I want to disrupt those guys. Nobody else can fire. Unfortunately, that guy can't fire. And what I should have done is have him here. These guys should have been in opposite areas, but... Okay, red movement, nothing. Uh, yellow... Defensive fire, nothing, and then red melee. Okay, let's go ahead and melee. Let's start here and against this guy. And then I'll go against those two. So 4, 8, 12, 16, and 9 is 25 to 12. 2 to 1 plus 1 is a 6. And that is enough to eliminate those guys, because it was a second disruption. Okay, those guys have gone. Then this guy's got to go against these two. Uh, 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21 against... 12, so it's one to one. Okay, one to one with a six. Ooh, that's another disruption, actually, but the leader will soak that. And then down here... Um, Six, twelve, nineteen against three, six, nine, two to one odds with a four disruption, and then here a two. It's actually going to be a four to one odds with a three is a disruption. So we've got a disruption here. I should have attacked across that whole front. But Okay, that is it for red. Did I move the turn marker? I don't think I did. I think we're in turn seven. I'm not sure. It doesn't, again, it doesn't matter. I've got 25 turns, so it's not going to make a big difference. Okay, yellow chariot. And did I hit that? Yeah. Okay. Whoops. Hmm. 
Those guys were disrupted, so they can't do anything. I don't know why that did that. Okay, yellow fire combat. Um, these guys can fire. Two to one odds with a four is a disruption. Okay, and then um, yellow movement. Let's go one, two, three. Rotate. Um, one, two, three, one, two. I get a free turn, so there's the free rotation. Rotate. Oops. One, two, one, two. One, two, three. Oops. One, two. Okay. And everybody's been moved. Okay, red defensive fire. I don't think... Oh, this does... Did he get a defensive fire? He's already fired this time. Okay, yellow melee. Uh, let's see. We got 26. This should be it for the uh, Macedonians, pretty much. But let's see what we can do. These guys have already fired. Did anybody else fire? Oh, these guys. Um, I should have put them in on fire, but I missed it, so I'm not going to... That's okay. 6, 12, 18, and that's doubled because they're a flank attack. So 18, 36, and 9 is 45, to 12, 3 to 1, plus 1, 5, 6. And that's going to be a half elimination. But they're already um, disordered, so they are gone. Okay, so those guys are eliminated. I'll move this guy into place. Uh, here we have uh, 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15. One to two. With the three. Okay. Now I'm not sure how you handle whether these handle because they're not adjacent. I think these guys are all gonna have to attack together, and then this guy's gonna have to attack separately here. So we're gonna get a um six oh let's go ahead and do this guy up here. So that's six, twelve, eighteen to one. It's like this guy's eliminated. Okay, here we've got eighteen, so that's 36 to, it's going to be one-to-one -one odds with a four is a disruption. So we're going to take a leader reduced. And then now we've got to do these guys here. So it's going to be, let's start with the flanks. So four, eight, 12, that's 24. Um, and then this is so 24 and 36, 37, 38, 39. And 12 more is 49, 51. And 6 is 55 to 16. 3 to 1 odds with a 5. 3 to 1 with a 5. Uh, is a half eliminated. Okay, so these two are gone. And then these two are disordered, or disrupted, I guess. Okay, I think that's everybody. So we go to mutual this, we do this, and we go to turn eight. But before we do that, let's check and see. Okay, so the red is now panicked. So the Macedonians are all in a panic mode. 
Uh, these guys aren't because they got a leader. These guys aren't because they're a... No, wait, they don't have a leader. Yeah, there's a leader there. And he's a three leader. Uh, let's see, with leaders and panic, leader units must rally panic. That's not what I need. Okay, all panic units adjacent. Okay, so for a three or four, it's a stacked, and one to two is adjacent. Okay, so he's he's good. He is not. He is pan No, there's one to two, so he's... I think these guys are all good. Yeah, everybody's actually not panicked because they're next to the leader's adjacency, so that's good. Okay. Oh, this guy's panicked. And I'm just going to say he panics. Um, I need a panic thing. Okay. There we go. So these guys are not panicked. Where do I take the panic off at? Routed, routed, rallies, okay. Ah. Rallies. Can I do that? Nope, I gotta take that guy off. And here I was talking how great this was. Oh, it's not that big a deal. Ah! Okay, come apart here. Put you all back together. In here. Get off there. Rallies. Okay, so they didn't, so they were, they're cool. Um, I guess during the chariot phase, this guy's going to run off. Uh, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Hmm, I might be able to nab him. Now we can go to Red Chariot Phase. He's done his thing. Okay, Red Fire Combat. Um, hmm. Lale, let's go with our fire combat here. A red fire, red fire. Okay, he's going to go ahead and fire on here. So we've got two to one odds with a five. And that's going to disrupt him. Mark fired. Okay, and then red movement, nothing. Yellow defensive fire, nothing. Red combat. Okay, so we've got 6, 12, uh, 19 to 9. Eighteen, nineteen. So one to one plus one, four, five. Okay. Mark disrupted and mark disrupted, and this guy will be gone. Then down here, I've got to go against these guys. So six, twelve. 18, 19, 20, 21, 
to two, one to three, 21 to three, seven, oh, eight to one odds. Okay, gone. I didn't even notice that. And then here we have four, eight, 12, 22, or 24, 25 to one to one odds with a three, nothing. Okay. We go to our mutual disruption phase and we hit the dark one here. We go to yellow here, go to yellow fire combat. Um, oh, this guy got crowded out. Nobody there. Okay. Yellow movement. And then this guy will go down here, and then one, two, one, two, one, two, this guy, and then one, two, three, okay. And that's it. Okay, we go to yellow melee. And this is a two, four, six, and we double it to 12. 12 to two, six to one with a four is an elimination. Okay. And then here we have a 18, but we're doubled. So that's 36 to six, 12. 14, 15, 16, 17. So two to one with a one, nothing. Okay. Here we've got a 18, 36. And then I'm going to go everything here. 36 and 37, 38, 39 and 12. 49, 51 to 25 is a two to one with a six. Okay, and that's gonna reduce my leader again. Whoops. And then uh, here we've got a 18. One to two, or wait. It's going to be one to one odds. One to one with a four. Another leader reduction, actually, a leader elimination. And then we've got a 24. And then another 12 is 36, 37, 38, 39. 51 to 8. Seven to one odds with a one is a half elimination. And then this guy's going to be disrupted. Okay, end of turn. We're going to do one more turn here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I mean, it's pretty much all over but the crying. But I think the Macedonians are just getting kind of doing a thermopylae here where they're just slowly being eliminated, but we'll go ahead and do it. Okay, fire combat. They have not fired this turn, so I can take the fire marker off. Okay. They don't have anybody to fire at, so we can go past that. Movement. We will turn here and there. We go to red melee. This guy is going to go against uh, 6, 12, 13, 14, or 6, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, to 12, 1 to 1, with a 4 is a disruption. And then here we have a 2, or 3, 6, 9, 12, to 9, 1 to 1 odds, with a 4, another disruption. Here we have a uh, 4, 8, 25, 2, 
one to one with a four. Another leader lost. And it actually should have been a two to one with a four, but won't change it any. So, okay. And then take off our disruption, disrupted units. And then yellow fire, no, yellow chariot, and oh, yellow fire. Um, nope. Okay, yellow movement. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, uh, one, two. One, two there. Okay, and then uh, for combats, we're going to go 18, 30, that's 36 to 612. Two to one odds with a four. So that's a disruption. And then 18 and 12, no, 18, 36 and 12 is 48. Uh, four to one odds with a four is a half elimination. So this guy is taken away. Oops, unit eliminated, these two are taken away, unit eliminated, and then these two are disrupted because I got a half elimination. And then this guy is at an 18 to one to one odds, five. Mark disrupted, and then four, eight, 12, that's gonna be 24 plus, 36, 48, 51 to 4, 8 to 1 odds. Easy there. So this guy is eliminated. And we just move on in. Okay. I think I'm going to call it at, I think uh, at this point, the Macedonians are going to capitulate because they're just getting wiped out. So that is it. Um, got a stretch here. Oh, that is an interesting game. It goes a little longer than I thought. Um, I don't know how really representative it is of anything, but it's it's reasonably fun. I think that uh, some of the combat rules are a little unclear in it, but hopefully I'll keep house ruling this as I go along and maybe get this clarified. I think the one thing that's important in this is to uh, treat it kind of like you would uh, the 30-year war squad uh, from SPI, I think. Zones of control, stopping movement, maybe the initial stopping movement when you move into a zone of control. I think that rule is good, but I think you should be able to keep moving through zones of control after that, or maybe move one hex through the next one. We'll maybe try the Legion game with that rule in place, and I'll put that when I do the rules discussion in that video. So anyway, that's what I got this weekend. I really, really appreciate you guys for watching. I've had such nice comments, and just the folks that watch it have been just great, and like I say, I really, really appreciate y'all. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Take it easy. Bye.